Hey Jessica, have you tried the new 11 V3? I just got it. The clarity is amazing. I can actually do whispers now, like this. Ooh, fancy. Check this out, I can do full Shakespeare now. To be or not to be, that is the question. <laughs> nice, though I'm more excited about the laugh upgrade. Listen to this. <laughs> That's 11 Laughs V3. And let me tell you, this thing is crazy. It can laugh, whisper, switch accents like an actual human. But here's the thing, you probably don't know how to unlock this stuff and you're just burning through your credits getting mediocre results. So today I'm giving you the exact prompt setup that gets consistent emotional output. Alright, let's get into it. Okay, so here's what you really need to know. There are three key steps that will make or break your results with 11 Labs V3. So step one is your voice selection. Step two, your stability settings. And step three, using emotional tags the right way. Okay, let's break it down and let's start with the voice selection. And this is pretty straightforward. In 11 Labs, you have these voices that are marked best for V3. And these are specifically optimized for the new model. And of course, you can also use voice design to create a voice from scratch. But for this tutorial, we're gonna stick to the best for V3 options so you can follow along pretty easily. Now, let's move on to step two, the stability settings. Okay, so when you're generating a script, you can see a slider here and you can decide how much creative freedom it has, basically. So on one hand, you've got this robust, which is more stable, but kind of flat. Uh, but on the other hand, you have a creative, which is more expressive, but unpredictable. So what I recommend for V3 is to keep it at least on neutral or get a little bit more towards the creative side. Because if you go too far toward the robust side, then you will lose a lot of like emotional flexibility. And that will make V3 just, you know, useless basically. So here I have a little script and I'm just gonna show you the differences between the two. First, we have the creative one. Okay, something crazy happened in Paris. <laughs> I still can't believe it. I was walking near the Eiffel Tower and this guy just hands me a rose out of nowhere, like in a movie. Then he just walks away. No words, just a smile. I stood there for five minutes like, what just happened? So as you can hear, this is quite natural. And let's switch to the other side uh, to see the difference. Okay, something crazy happened in Paris. <laughs> I still can't believe it. I was walking near the Eiffel Tower and this guy just hands me a rose out of nowhere, like in a movie. Then he just walks away. No words, just a smile. <laughs> I stood there for five minutes like, what just happened? And now there's a lot less emotion. So you want to test the range for yourself, but I would say avoid go full robust mode. All right, so once you have those settings down, we move on to the most important part, which is the emotional text. And this is what they introduce in V3 for you to have real control over your voiceovers. So here are some of the tags you can use. If you look at the prompting guide from 11 Labs, you can see we have voice related tags and also sound effects and even other special tags, right? So for the voice related one, we have laughs, you know, like whispers, sighs, sarcastic, curious, excited, and so on and so forth. And how you would prompt it is just to have your tag here and then have your sentence just right after. So the same goes for sound effects. So for example, you can have the sound here and then your sentence right here. And then, okay, another sound like this. And you can stack those tags too. So for example, you can stack excited, laughs, and then prompt, you know, so like this. Okay, this is ridiculous. So let's hear this. <laughs> okay, this is ridiculous. And this is how it works right? But emotional tags are just the first layer. 
To really make your voice sound more natural, you've got to structure your prompt the right way. So here's what I mean. Here's a line without any prompting structure, and let's hear this. Wait, what? He just handed you a rose and then walked off? Girl, that's straight out of a romance novel. Okay, so that was already quite good, but let's hear the version with capitalization, ellipses for pauses, and the text. Wait, what? He just handed you a rose and then walked off? Girl, that's straight out of a romance novel. So this way you have even more control on when to do the breaks and pauses, and also which words you want to emphasize. Alright, so if you want to improve your prompting skills, I highly recommend you read this Prompting 11v3 guide. So um, we have all the settings and audio tags, um, even sound effects, punctuation, and if you have like single speaker or multi speaker, just how to do this. But if you want to speed up the process, you can also use this button V3 Enhance just in 11 laps or another prompt that I prepared for you. So for example, I generated a script in Claude and this is about a girl calling her mom to tell her about her Egypt trip. All right, so if you have the text here, then you can just click this Enhance button and it will add the text for you. So that's one way. Or you can use this prompt. So you can just paste this prompt into ChatGPT like this. Then it will invite you to paste your block of text. So now if I paste this Egypt trip call text, it's gonna enhance for us. Okay, and now we have the text. We're gonna paste this inside and just generate and let's hear this. Mom? Mom! Can you hear me? The connection's terrible. Yeah, better now. Oh my god, I'm dying. Literally dying. So remember how I was all like, I'm gonna be so cultured and spiritual at the pyramids? <laughs> Yeah, right. I spent half the time trying not to fall down a hole, and the other half taking selfies like every other tourist. <laughs> so much for enlightenment. Wait, what? Oh, the food? <laughs> Ugh, don't even get me started. Yesterday I was like, I'm going to be adventurous, and ate something from a street cart. Big mistake. Huge. I won't go into details, but let's just say I got very acquainted with the hotel bathroom. <laughs> but today was actually amazing. Well, mostly. <laughs> the guide kept calling me beautiful lady, which was sweet, until I realized he says that to literally everyone. Even said it to this German guy with a mustache. I was like, okay, buddy, we get it. <laughs> Yeah, so that was actually amazing. I will leave the prompt down below so you can use it to enhance your text. Okay, so if this helped you or saved you from burning more credits, hit that subscribe button. We've got more AI voice and even AI automation tutorials coming next. So you definitely don't want to miss them. And if you want to check out my other AI tool videos, click here to keep watching and I will see you in the next video. Wait, what? You haven't subscribed to Ting's channel yet? What are you waiting for? Christmas?